Hi students, welcome back to Vinkit Gurla Lectures. Uh, today I am going to discuss Mygonads, chemical control coordination. In that topic the concept is gonads. So gonads are the reproductive organs. These are the reproductive These are the reproductive organs or sex organs. These are of two types. They are called testes and ovaries. Testes and ovaries. Testes are act as a male reproductive organs, whereas ovaries are the female reproductive organs. So testes produce the male gametes or spermatozoa. Testes produces male gametes called spermatozoa and the ovaries produces the female gametes called ovum. In addition to these uh, testes, this, in addition to these gametes, this is called male gamete. In addition to the gametes, in addition to gametes, it secretes hormones synthesize and secrete the hormones. These hormones are called uh, steroid hormones. Steroid hormones or we can say the groups of steroid hormones. Uh, let's now uh, talk about uh, the one gonads. Ovaries Let's think about ovaries. As we said that ovaries are the female reproductive organs. These are uh, primary sex organs in human females. The ovaries produce a ovum or you can say ova. ovum. These ovaries are located, the location of this ovary, a location, it present in the pelvic cavity. and close to a proximal, in close proximal proximity to fallopian tubule and uterus. So location is uh, present in the pelvic cavity in close proximity to fallopian tubule and uterus. The ovaries are the paid structures. They are one pair. They are the paid structures. One pair. They are about almond in shape. Almond in shape. The shape of ovary is almond, are a page, and the length of uh, length of ovary is about three centimeters. A width of ovary about uh, two centimeters, and thickness. 
of over about 1 cm. That means 3 into 2 into 1. And where in the case of weight, the weight of ovary about 4 to 5 grams. The weight of ovary is 5 grams. So it is almond in shape. Now these, apart from these, the male and female gametes, as we said that the ovum is a female gamete, it's a, it produces ovum or we can say the female gamete. female gametes. It secretes hormones, steroid hormones, the ovary secretes steroid hormones, steroids, a group of steroid hormones. The steroid hormones such as estrogen, progesterone relaxin actin or inhibin or actin so the ovary secretes uh, the group of steroid hormones secretes group of steroid hormones steroids group of steroid hormone they are called estrogen, progesterone, relaxin and inhibin or inhibin are active. Now let's take about uh, the functions of these hormones, functions. So ovary secretes hormone, estrogen, progesterone, relaxin and inhibin. The estrogen, it is secreted by the cells of uh, secreted by the cells of a graphian follicles secreted by the graphian follicles of uh, ovary and then uh, or else we can say this graphian follicles The inner wall uh, is uh, inner layer is called theca interna. So inner walls of this graphian follicle called theca interna. The cells of this uh, interna intertecan, I mean theca interna secretes estrogen. Estradiol Estradiol is the principal of feminizing feminizing hormone So estradiol is the principal feminizing hormone of estrogen. Of estrogen. This estrogen is also estrogen. It stimulates estradiol or estrogen stimulates development of a secondary a sexual characters secondary sexual characters or females like uh, high pitch in voice and also it stimulates 
also it stimulates a growth of a mammary gland mammary glands and also stimulates also stimulates maturation of vova maturation of vova stimulates the growth of mammary glands stimulates secondary sexual characters these are the main uh, the functions of this estrogen so the feminizing principal feminizing hormone is estradiol so the estrogen is steroid hormone in that estradiol is now let us coming to the next one is a progesterone so progesterone it is secreted by corpus luteum corpus luteum so what is corpus luteum means it is formed by the graafian follicle graafian follicle so the rupture of the graafian follicle is called rupture of graafian follicle is called corpus luteum this corpus luteum is uh, helps in so development of uh, uterine or uterus uterine epithelium so progesterone it is secreted by the corpus luteum corpus luteum means uh, definition of corpus luteum it means a rupture of graafian follicle i means after the ovulation the ova is comes out of the what uh, the ova is comes out say for example this is uh, graafian follicle so ova is coming out so this is called ova the comes out of this ova is called and i mean rest of the part the yellow color body is called corpus luteum so after the left over this graafian follicle i mean this uh, ovum this part we can call it as corpus luteum okay now it's mainly concerned with the development of uterine of epithelium that means endometrium it is mainly that means endometrium endometrium thickness of the walls of endometrium it maintains of pregnancy maintenance of uh, a pregnancy so the progesterone is required for the formation of placenta formation of placenta so progesterone is required for the formation of placenta and the progesterone and estrogen progesterone and estrogen both are required for required for ovulation so ovulation that means the discharge of ovum is called ovulation discharge of ovum from the graafian follicle is called ovulation so progesterone 
it is formed uh, secreted by the corpus luteum corpus luteum means rupture of graafian follicle once from the graafian follicle womb is discharged out left of the graafian for graafian follicle is said to be corpus luteum is a localer body it is a localer uh, body and this corpus luteum is mainly concerned with the development of it are in uh, epithelium that means increase thickness of what the uh, endometrium of uterine and maintains of pregnancy and formation of placenta progesterone and estrogen are required for the ovulation and now let's coming to the another hormone called relaxin relaxin another hormone is relaxin relaxin is another hormone relaxin it is secreted by corpus luteum again corpus luteum actually we can say that the corpus albicans corpus albicans means after the corpus luteum uh, this uh, is gradually disappearing and form uh, corpus al albicans is a white color body or simply you can say the corpus luteum it secretes at the early stage it secretes at late stages a late uh, uh, stages of gestation period or embryo late stages of embryonic of embryo at the age of 47 to 8 months onwards it starts begins and this relaxing hormone is mainly concerned with it is to be concerned uh, with uh, relaxing pubic symphysis it is to be softening a softening the ligament of uh, pubic symphysis a pubic symphysis during the labor and parturition Parturition it means childbirth. So during the childbirth, the woman get labor pains. That means called labor. At the time the relaxing hormone is secreted by the corpus albicans or corpus luteum or corpus albicans. So it leads to softening of the ligament of our pubic symphysis, so that uh, the childbirth is possible. So that is a relaxing hormone. Uh, now coming to the last hormone is uh, inhibin. Inhibin are uh, actin. So inhibin hormone inhibits inhibin inhibits inhibin hormone inhibits inhibin hormone inhibits but actin actin hormone actin hormone Actin hormone is activates it activate or stimulates the production of production of G and gonadotrophic hormone, gonadotrophic releasing hormone and the FSH follicle stimulating hormone. So inhibin or actin, inhibin, inhibin hormone is uh, inhibits 
the production of active, I mean, uh, gonadotropic releasing hormone and the follicle stimulating hormone. But in the case of what actin, so actin hormone, actin hormone is stimulates, activate for the production of GN, RH, I mean, gonadotropic releasing hormone and FSH, follicle stimulating hormone. So, in actin uh, is stimulate the production of uh, gonadotropic releasing hormone and follicle stimulating hormone. Alright, I hope you all understand this. So, to the ovaries uh, secrete uh, the steroid hormones, namely estrogen, progesterone, relaxin and uh, inhibin or actin. So, estrogen is a steroid hormone. It is main, uh, the principal, uh, the principal feminizing estrogen is called estradiol. And another one is called progesterone. It's meant for the ovulation, I mean production and then maintenance of a pregnancy and all. And uh, relaxin is a hormone, is uh, meant for uh, softening of ligament of pubic symphysis during the childbirth. And the last one is called uh, inhibin, is uh, inhibin or in actin. The inhibin is inhibit and actin hormone is uh, uh, activate for the production of gonadotrophic releasing hormone and uh, a follicle stimulating hormone. So this is about what, uh, so my gonads that is uh, ovaries. So if you like this video, please share and subscribe my channel. Thank you. Thank you for watching.